and you tempted to sing a line. We know you were so busy producing it all and getting everyone into place. Didn't you fancy having one line in the song? Well, I, I'm in I'm in the chorus yeah. somewhere. You can hear me yeah. squawking squawking along with the, the sing along <laughs> bits. Um, but the reality is that that we didn't know exactly who was going to turn up. You know, we we hadn't really spoken to a grown up. We'd spoken directly to the artists, and and artists tend to be quite flaky. You know, <laughs> with the best intention in the world, they say, "Yeah, yeah, I'll be there," and yeah. then the date and the address and the reason and whatever just goes out their heads. Yeah. Uh, so we didn't know quite who was going to turn up. Uh, and when I got there uh, to set it all up and uh, people started arriving, I realised very, very quickly we didn't have enough lines uh. in the song to give everybody a line. <laughs> and it was more important using using the artists that we used because they had huge fan bases. Yeah. Yeah. And the whole thing about making this record wasn't really a musical thing. It was it was a social thing, wasn't it? You know, yeah, we yeah, wanted yeah. to get the biggest amount of people buying buying that record. So it was more important that George Michael sang something or or Boy yeah. George or, you know, Duran, you know, it was that that was a key thing. So I was quite happy squawking away in the background. Just <laughs> me playing all the instruments except the drums. So I'm all over the record. Yeah, yeah you are. <laughs> My ego is satisfied. 